Hi, my name is Darren from HUJ.tax, and please have a look at our website if you haven't already done so. We have over 2,000 articles on our website and over 1,000 videos on our YouTube channel and other podcast platforms where we try to demystify this space of offshore structuring, international tax, uh, international tax planning and international tax compliance, especially for U.S. exposed persons. Today, I want to talk about, as you know, I mentioned the U.S. as a great segue into today's topic, which is the U.S. versus Dubai. There have been quite a number of personalities online who have promoted been promoting Dubai, and rightfully so. I'm recording this video from Dubai right now. We've had an office here since the end of 2020, end of 2020, in the height of the the, the health crisis that we had. We we saw an opportunity. We saw how many people were attracted to Dubai. It was for a long time the only major international city that was open, that was still relatively open to international visitors and welcoming of international business. It is extremely business friendly and it really came to my mind it came into its own during the during that health crisis and then since then we've obviously had the the troubles in ukraine and russia and we've seen entrepreneurs we've seen business professionals who have sought sought refuge or not really sought refuge but have seized the opportunity that the emirates has offered to to, to bring to to redomicile their business or to run their businesses from 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 dubai from the united arab emirates dubai being one of seven emirates that make up the uae so today i want to talk a bit just just super quick because a lot of the influencers have been really touting them rightfully so i understand the emirates versus the us and even though we do we do a fair share of business helping U.S. exposed entrepreneurs, investors move from the from the United States into the Emirates. I just want to be more balanced. You know, I I want to challenge some of the narratives. Yes, it is advantageous, but not for everyone. It is not a panacea. It doesn't fix every. It's not a magic bullet that will solve everything. It works for some people in very unique and specific circumstances. And it will not work for others. What do I mean by that? So let's talk about the advantages of the Emirates. The obvious ones, it's relatively tax-free. It's not completely tax-free. Depending on what you're trying to do, if you involve in domestic activity, there's a VAT, a value-added tax, kind of like a sales tax. And recently, there's been the imposition of a 9% corporate tax, which we've discussed in other videos, and a lot of other people have done so online. So I won't belabor that point. But it is relatively tax-free. It offers affordable luxury uh, for for those like like me. I'm, I spend most of my time in Singapore, and it's much much cheaper than Singapore or Hong Kong, or depending on where you, what part of New York or London. If you're in the center of London, and if you're in the Square Mile, or if you're in Manhattan in New York, yeah, Dubai is a, a relatively. It's not at the tier. It, it's a lower tier financial center than London and New York or Singapore and Hong Kong. It's probably a third or fourth tier jurisdiction. And with that comes a uh, commensurate, commensurately lower costs. It's lower cost of business in terms of office space, in terms of really beautiful accommodation. So it does offer affordable luxury. So low tax, affordable luxury, great combination on its own. And because it's relatively small, and this is just my, of course, my personal point of view, and I hope that you would feel free to share your points of view below, and, and please feel free to comment below. But it's relatively small, so networking is super easy. There is a host of networking events, both within the various free zones and within different professional organizations, and it's really easy to network and to meet people. And, and and that's 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 of course quite welcoming. So that's and, and I don't need to perhaps go into more because there are like probably hundreds of thousands of videos touting the advantages of the Emirates in general and Dubai in particular. But let's challenge some of those narratives. You know, let's not just take everything we're told at face value. Let's let's look at things from alternative points of view. The first thing I want to throw out is the the the, the idea that just being in a low tax jurisdiction works for every entrepreneur or business person. I mean, that's mainly the main narrative that I would like, why I want to challenge. And I'll do that by, it's not that I have any, I don't have any special relationship with anyone I'm citing. I'm just, it's just content that I found online and, and, and the, the basis for their uh, analysis and the basis for the data that they present, it appears to be relatively credible. So the first, the first, uh, source that I'd want to point out, and, and feel free to jump on Google and have a look at this stuff yourself, is there's a, a, a consulting firm called Henley & Partners, and it appears to be perhaps the dominant player in the whole 
investment migration space. There are other players, but they definitely have a higher profile. They are they seem to be tied into some of the governments themselves and they advise on the structuring of programs, as well as helping high net worth individuals move around. Some people claim to work with high net worth individuals and help them move around. These guys are the real deal. They, they, they you know, they're sought after by some pretty well-known people. No one get into that. The point is that what I want to call out is that they did a survey of some sort of study earlier this year and they, they published the top 20 cities with the most millionaires in 2022. Again, have a look at their website, have a look at it. They did a lot of press releases. It got a lot. It got a fair amount of buzz. What was interesting to me and to many others who looked at it is when you look at that, top, when you look at the top 10 cities, five of them in the US. So number one being New York, number three, San Fran, number, what else? Number six, LA, seven, Chicago, eight, Houston. So, you know, five, five cities in the top 10, none of which really have a reputation for being low tax, which is the thing, you know? I guess you can argue, yeah, Houston is a tax free, Houston being a Texas tax free state, but, you know, New York and San Fran, those are two coastal cities in the two states with the highest, you know, state tax, income tax rate in the entire United States. So this, this whole idea that there's some sort of, uh, not just a correlation, but there's a, some sort of causal relationship. There's some sort of, you know, the sinking between the attractiveness of a jurisdiction and the, and the competitiveness of its tax rate is basically thrown out the window when you look at something like this. And again, have a look at, you know, don't take my word for it. Have a look at the website. Have a look at the debate that it's uh, sparked. Have a look at their methodology and, and, you know, come to your own conclusions. You know, the, the data is there for those who are willing and motivated enough to have a look. The second thing is that there's this, this academic that I've been following for a while. His name is Christopher Young. He's a professor at Stanford University, but I think he was at Cornell before because I started reading his content, his, his publications and his work from, from years ago when he was still at Cornell. Anyway, so most famously, he published a book. He's published a lot. Uh, he's published a lot. When you, when you Google him, Christopher Young, you'll see. Most famously, he wrote a book called The Myth of Millionaire Tax Flight, How Play Still Matters for the Rich in which you know again this one definitely would be more rigorous in terms of the research methodology given that he is an academic right so that just stands to reason anyway so he used anonymized data from the internal revenue service in the us he used anonymized tax data so he makes the point that very few very few wealthy people move because of tax reasons so they, so there's, they, they don't, he could not find that, that, that connect between low tax, at least within the U.S. So low tax states within the U.S. and an influx of high net worth people. Nor can he find an exodus from high tax state. I mean, anecdotally, of course, in the last couple of years, you've seen, uh, Cal exit and, and, you know, this, this so-called exodus from New York to Florida. But I don't know. I know the media has been playing that up a lot. But I don't know how statistically valid the conclusions are that they come to because it's the media. They they're selling headlines. They they're trying to make money like everybody else. So I would always encourage people to verify, to trust but verify. That's what all it is. Trust but verify. So have a look at the the, the research that these that these sources have, have done. And I think with Christopher Young, he also did research internationally using data from Forbes. Have a look at that as well. And again, that that this whole idea that there's this narrative of a movement from high tax to low tax has been challenged. Definitely from emerging markets to to developed jurist to developed uh economies so like europe or north america definitely australia new zealand that does exist but being that but the high the idea that tax is the main determinant i think that's really challenged uh, when you look at it in and again and so i'm circling back to the whole idea of this that there's this whoosh as the sound of wind as people jump on planes and they just run away from the u.s to jurisdictions like dubai the the u obviously what these two data sources are telling us is that it has a lot more it's driven movement is driven by a lot more than taxation there's access to capital which is really important obviously the u.s is a uh, a, a deeper, more dynamic financial market than other jurisdictions in the world including the including the middle east talent so there's a, a deeper, wider talent pool in, in the U.S. Again, it depends on what area, what industry you're in, but generally speaking. Yeah, so uh, it, the bottom line is that the factor, and it's a bigger market, so the bottom line is that there are more factors in play to make money. So rather, for some people, rather than focus on how you save money in, in terms of taxes, 
there's more scope and there's a limit how much you can save on taxes right so you can save 10 percent from moving from new york or you can save 12 or 13 from moving from california there's a fixed there's a there's a limit to how much you can save by reducing your taxes but there's in terms of how much money you can make in terms of revenue there's unlimited upside there's unlimited capacity ability scope for for maximizing revenue if you were in uh, an environment an enabling environment with all the right soft and hard factors in play to, to help you do whatever it is you're trying to do financially within the scope of your business so again i'm not saying that these narratives are wrong what i'm encouraging you to do is challenge them and understand that one size could never fit all what works for one specific uh fact pattern may not work for others my name is darren joseph from hj.tax come please feel free to reach out to us via our website if you want to talk about uh tax planning or tax compliance if you're a u.s exposed international investor entrepreneur nomad uh trader or just expat c-suite expat we'll be happy to help we're happy to work with you and ensure that you pay no more than is legally required my name is darren joseph and i'll see you next time bye-bye so if you're a six, seven, or eight-figure investor, entrepreneur, or business owner who needs a tailor-made solution from a qualified team of professionals, we can help you achieve the international lifestyle, the freedom, and even the tax savings you're looking for. Visit us at htj.tax and live that international life.